Look at that. Who says drop shot catches small fish? Alrighty guys, good morning. Back out on my favorite fishery, the California Delta. And uh, today I'm just gonna try to, you know, catch some fish. I'm just gonna fish fast. I don't have a lot of time out here. I got an event to go to later, so I'm gonna make the most out of it. Just gonna be throwing frog, punch, crane bait, and drop shot. Just four rods, keeping it really simple. Right now it's an uh, incoming tide. It's about to be max high tide in a bit. Alrighty, let's go fishing, y'all. Got one. All right, first little keeper of the day on the crankbait. Not bad. Let me show you guys an interesting tool. The Cuda lip gripper. Oops. Hold on. Bam. We'll grab him by there. You never gotta worry about hooks getting in your hands again. Fires out. Closing. Hook kind of awkward. Crane bay bass, man, they're always hooked awkward. It's like, how does this even happen? There we go. It's a nice little keeper. A nice little fat keeper. How's the bike in back here? Uh, I just caught one, small little keeper on my crankbait. <laughs> nice, huh? Yeah, I'm just testing the reaction bite. Small little guy. All right, buddy, chill. Get out of here, Junior. This is an outside weed line. And there's a lot of bait fish here. I see them jumping around and whatnot. Oh, I just had one come up and hit it right there. But that's another small one. So these fish, you know, they're chomping on bait fish. So that's why I'm using the shad color crane bait. But it seems like some of these fish, they're already going into their fall transition. Because they're already moving back here into these dead end sloughs and small little sloughs and whatnot.
Here we go. This one might be a keeper. No, I don't think he's gonna keep. It's a long skinny fish. I don't know. It's gonna be a close one. Little guy's not even gonna keep. Oh my god, yeah! There we go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Finally. That is a good frogfish. Look at that. On the toe thumper. <laughs> Finally. Have to cover so much water. Man, I got him so good. He was never gonna come off. Oh my god. Dude, I got him like so good. Oh my god. He is not coming off. There we go. <laughs> That's a nice frog bass right there. All righty. That's a good one. Finally. Man, fishing's been tough, guys. Fishing's been tough. But just grinding away, trying to get some bites. I've been fishing for a while now. That's only my second keeper. The rest have been a bunch of small little piranhas. But, you know, that one bite told me that they're not really hugging bait. They're like right in the middle in between. So one thing I do before I move my kayak into the mats, I always check the outside edges to see if there's any fish on the outside. And when I feel like I'm not getting blow ups or there's no signs of activity, then I'll move my kayak into the edges of the mat so I can get a better stability so the wind won't blow me all around it never hurts to check the edges because you just never know where these fish are going to be I hear a lot of bluegills popping I can move my kayak up there without spooking any fish because I've already eliminated some water and that's the good thing about a kayak I can get it way up here into skinny water. Yeah. Get him out of there. Yeah, some salad. <laughs> there we go. Look at all this salad. Is that cool or what? <laughs> Man. Man, the frogfish is yielding better bites, better sizes. There we go.
good little frog bass. <laughs> Fun. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. On the drop shot. <laughs> right on the drop shot. Heck yeah. On the drop shot. When the fishing gets tough, drop shot is the way to go. That is a fat, healthy fish. He's got crayfish down his throat. That's a fat one. That's a fat, healthy fish. Laters. Another one. Little dink. They cannot resist the Robo War. <laughs> oh man, this one's gonna need the pliers. Yep, these fish, they've all fed on the Incoming tide, max high tide, and now they're just fat. They got a lot of weight to them. It's a little fat dinker. See ya. This guy ate a whole crawfish. <laughs> oh my gosh. Little dinker. Oh my god, this is a big one. Oh my god. My last keeper of the day. And it's a big one. Oh my god. It's a big one. On the drop shot. Yeah. Last cast, guys. And it happens to be the biggest one of the day on a drop shot oh my gosh hell yeah look at that who says drop shot catches small fish yes 
This is my fifth keeper. Finally, I got a limit. Oh my God, yes. This is like a three pounder. That's a healthy fish, man. I'm gonna end it on this fish right here, guys. Man, it's been a tough day. Just grinding and grinding away, man. Post frontal conditions after a cold front in the summertime. I'm telling you guys, it's not easy, man. A whole lot of time and just a thousand casts and just getting a few bites here and there. But this fish right here is clutch, man. I'm gonna end it on a good note on this one. As always, guys, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next fishing session. Say bye. <laughs> Last cast, baby. A solid three pounder. See ya. <laughs>